Hi, I'm Benjamin Ruiz, the Director of Global Creative Artistry for Laura Mercier, and today I'm here with Tanya from Harper's Bazaar, and I'm going to show her a very fast, easy look that's uncomplicated, something that she can do with her fingertips, rely on very little brushes, and create a fantastic look. So let's get started. I want to show you Laura Mercier's foundation primer, and I've selected the Primer Radiance. This is my absolute obsession product, and it's great for women that want to have that youthful, glowy dew. And all you do is take a little bit and put it in the palm of your hand, massage it together, and then just apply it to the face. Your makeup will look just as good at 8 p.m. as it did at 8 a.m. when you first applied it. Mm -hmm. And even if you don't want to wear foundation, just put the Primer Radiance on and your skin will have that very, very healthy glow. Now that we've done that, I want to show you Laura Mercier's new Silk Cream Foundation in the Photo Edition Moisturizing Formula. Now I'm going to apply it with a sponge today, but it's totally okay to apply it with your fingertips. The best way to apply it is just press a little bit into the skin, turn the sponge over, and then just imbue it. So what you're trying to do here is to create a second skin. Now I want to show you my absolute favorite product. I call it Photoshop in a compact, and it's Laura Mercier's Secret Camouflage. Just take this product and mix the two shades together. So I've selected the number two. I put it on the back of my hand to warm it up. Turn the brush over, pick up a little bit of the color from the other side. And at this point, you want to desaturate the brush and then just work in the areas wherever you have a little issue. Oftentimes when you wear concealers, you'll find that they're not exactly the right shade. And so what you end up doing is concealing your concealer with your foundation. Once you've done that, you want to move on to Laura Mercier's Secret Concealer. This is formulated a little bit differently than Secret Camouflage. It's ideally suited for the fragile skin under the eye area. You only need to apply it wherever darkness is present. And immediately you can see how the eye area becomes brighter and very, very fresh. Natanya, I'm a huge advocate of setting foundation with powder. Laura makes a very fine translucent powder, but more importantly, we apply it with a puff. So what I'm gonna do is take a little bit of the powder and load it onto the puff. And then at this point, what I do is I just imbue and massage the powder into the velour of the puff. Now what I'm gonna do is press and roll it onto the skin, and this will get a great set for your foundation. Really force it into the makeup and fix it, and this will assure that you get longevity, but more importantly, you won't take that glow away that we put on earlier with the Primer Radiance. Now I'm working on your brows and I think it's really important that you pay attention to those just to create symmetry and to give a lift to the face. When you do the brows, you want to start in the center and then work your way towards the nose but get very light. Start in the body, lift up and off the skin. I'm going to prepare your eyelid with a little bit of Eye Basic. This is a great product to use even if you don't want to wear eyeshadow. It immediately gives you that eye open awake effect. 